Hey, y'all. It's me. It's raining, and I just wanted to get a little bit done in the garden. I have been actually kind of laid up for the last week. One day last week, I was helping Hugh over at the barn. I was manning the gate so that he could get the, his hay put away. And with my left foot, I stepped on a really hard cow patty. I mean, it was just a cow patty. But my toes went up, my heel went down really fast, and I felt a significant pop in my calf muscle right in the middle. And it was so bad that I actually that evening made an appointment to go to the ortho acute care the next morning and have it x-rayed. But during the night, it started feeling better, so I went on their webpage and just went ahead and canceled that. But I have been kind of not being able to come to the garden because of that. It, uh, it's feeling a whole lot better and it just, it just has a real sharp pain if I step wrong. So I have to step really, really careful. And right now, walk with me through the garden and let's go see if we can find my hurricane. <laughs> I, I brought it down here, but I have misplaced it. But let me show you what's going on in the garden. Of course, the beets need to be completely just dug up at this point. And the asparagus, I might be a little gimpy, so just bear with me. The asparagus are looking really good. The onions are looking really good. Those, I still haven't even looked to see if the leaves are edible. I think they are, and I need to just blanch them and stick them in the freezer. That's the broccoli. And these, you, some of you told me that these were snaps, and you were exactly right they're beginning to bloom and this garden is is so very hard that uh, nothing is doing really well I'm I've never had a garden quite this poor but it'd be okay for this year we'll just get what we get and those are the little carrots I tried pulling one the other day and it just snapped off because <laughs> it's so hard and then over here my celeries are doing okay and these are the okras. But everything's growing really a lot slower than it should be. So I know this ground is just just depleted badly. Even with even with the cow manure that we put on, it's still depleted really badly. And Aaron and Corey just come home from Waynesville. They had to make a trip back real fast because Lily and Rose got out and they were running down the road as fast as they could go. They were following, our neighbor's cattle had gotten out, four of them, and they had came after them, and Lily and Rose got so excited that apparently they jumped over their fence or found a, a hole underneath of it, and they were following the cattle. So thankfully, they went to Sean and Teresa's, so it sound, it looks like um, Aaron and Corey had a fairly easy time gathering them back up. I couldn't chase them because I can barely walk still. And Hugh, that's one of his grumpy things. He is not going to. <laughs> he doesn't want to fool with no goat. So anyway, they came back and they got them. And so anyway, here we have, these are the, the flowers that I planted out last week. And as you can see, they're still really, 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 really going slow. But they're alive. That's all I can say for them. And today, it's supposed to rain. We desperately need rain. After it rains and it soaks this ground good, I'm going to come out here with my watering can and just make a mild solution and just apply it topically. Um, just so that I know that it will soak in and not run off. Okay, and down here we have our squashes and our runners and all that sort of thing. And... One little nasturtium here. But our squash and our runners, and there's another little nasturtium, will have their little vines pulled down into that area so that they can just um, go however they want to. But we had no more garden space that was actually had actually been tilled. And these plants, you can see how yellow they are. They had to go in the ground. So anyway, that's what I decided. I'll just go ahead and get them in the ground 
and let their little um, vines be pulled that direction and um, they can they can run I might train them to come back and forth so they're not you know just the entire garden I don't want them to go really far actually probably what I will do once they have three or four nice set blooms on them I'll probably tr uh, cut the end and not really let them get any longer because they don't have to you can control the length of them like you can the, the height of a tomato here's the tomatoes and you can see they're doing really nicely tomatoes are doing pretty good I lost one or two of them in that that heavy wind we had a while back but tomorrow after we have a nice nice rain hopefully this day and tonight I'm gonna bring my tomato steaks which are over there on that that thing and go ahead and get them staked and start training them up and then here we have the sunflowers down there at the other end are more peppers and then the cabbages and up here are more peppers and you can see the dill over there in the center and the alyssum and whatever these guys are I can't remember but we're just gonna call them a flower <laughs> a flower those are a flower let's go down here and look at these pretty alyssum aren't those those little sweet things beautiful they really are you see how dry our ground has and then over here let's go look at these beautiful 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 dill plants and I didn't know until I started taking Lisa's class that dill is actually used in floral arrangements and I thought that was interesting I, I wouldn't have wouldn't have thought that simply because and I forgot to get my hurricane let's walk back over here if I can't find it I guess I will oh I see it so I will use the hoe that's usually what I use to stabilize in the garden anyway but anyway for the the kind of soil it is I believe it's going to be an okay garden just not just not the garden I was looking for ow sorry girls stepped wrong all right and these little guys right here if they survive until the, tomorrow or the next day those are hollyhock and they'll go over along with that fence line I've got to hold y'all up close and I apologize if my voice is too loud because it's raining and now I've got the camera under my big hat so we'll go with that my geese are loving the rain they said yeah this is our kind of weather I think most most farm critters enjoy being outside in the rain if it's not lightning and thundering and all that then they the cows will go and get in the barn over there but when it's just a nice little little rain it seems they like that all right and yes I have on my earthing shoes which means I'm going to be really careful going down the bank over here because it's slick now that it's rained but I hope y'all are having a wonderful day I think Hugh is still down with Sean and Teresa he went down with them to get their cattle put up and I kept hearing Teresa yell for him to come so apparently well for the cattle that funny I won't even try to make that sound it will pierce your ears <laughs> but uh, I do believe they're still well maybe they're finished because I don't hear her yelling for the cattle any longer so they must have them contained and Hugh and Sean I'm sure will talk for half an hour or longer because that's what they do and that's okay all right hi panda look at this sweet girl hi sweet girl hi darling you're such a good girl all right all right girls let's go down this bank slowly sounds like Aaron and Corey are still up there with Lily and Rose silly little goats it was kind of it was it would have been funny if it weren't so so frightening but when I saw them running down the road they were actually running full speed 
after those four cows because um, I think that they had grown up in a pasture with cattle, if I remember what Aaron said. So they were, I guess they thought they were heading back to their mama. Bless. Bless, bless, bless. I'm glad they were easy for them to find and catch. All right, today I'm gonna to sit on my porch this rainy, beautiful day, and I am going to start Hughes corn. Now that's something we've never done. Corey does that, and I had read about it in times past, and I had suggested the idea to Hugh, but he wasn't really on board with it, so we never did. The problem is our corn tends to get robbed, what he calls it, getting robbed by the crows crows around here are smart. They watch for you to set out corn and they wait. <laughs> they wait for that event to happen and then they will rob you. Crows are smart. So anyway, look at this beautiful rose y'all. It's called a mustard and ketchup rose and that's about the colors that it is. Really, really pretty. But um, Anyway, what was I telling you about? Hmm. Hey, kitty kitties. Hey, darling. Look at you. Look at you. Where are you going? Bless. We brought our old refrigerator out of the house. I managed to get a new refrigerator this past week. And this old one, I don't know if I've told you this, what we're planning on doing. And yes, there's piles of stuff. We're still dealing with piles of stuff, moving things around. But there's getting ready to be a kind of a canning patio right here. My clothesline's going to be moved, but, and there'll be a roof coming down about 10, 12 feet over close to the driveway. And back there at the very back... There's going to be about a three foot deep, uh, Kaiser, hush, about a three foot deep um, little utility type shed that will be for the animal feed. And there'll be doors on it on the other side so that we can easily just pull down the driveway, pick the bags up, and put them in that little shed and keep them off the porch. Because we have you know, all these metal barrels that we keep their food in. But they just take up so much porch space. And this porch, my goal is to eventually have absolutely nothing out here, y'all. Except maybe three or four rocking chairs. Wow. But down here, once it's roofed, once it has a little roof over it, the, um, the grill and the smoker will also go, go down here. And then when we need to can... We need an area to shut corn, and we need an area just to clean greens, and just with big tubs of water and all that sort of thing. We'll have, I have some big folding tables that we'll bring out here and set them up, and we'll have an area to work. So that will be good, instead of trying to do those sorts of things in the kitchen. If y'all have ever done, well, silking corn, I don't think anybody would do that in the kitchen unless it was raining. <laughs> but uh, because it is such a mess. But, um... Anyway, there they come down the bank. So I think they've got it taken care of. And I see that box right there. It didn't get carried up on the porch yesterday because it was a two-person carry. And I can't help with my leg being kooky. And so we've not had all the boys here at the same time. But that's our greenhouse plastic. So we are ready to start going up with the greenhouses. And that's an exciting thing. And yay, and yay, and yay. But one of these days, all everything will be in its place, and everything will be cleaned up, and everything will be just, hi, darling. There's my baby. There's my little buddy. There's my little buddy kitty. Hi, sweetheart. Hi. He's a sweetheart. Look at him. He's got the sweetest little face. But, um, anyway. And he's going to rub against my legs. He says, there's a leg. There's a tree I'll rub against. 
<clears throat> but I'm looking forward to that day. It's just there's there's so much going on right now that sometimes it's just really frustrating that things are taking so long. That big guy over there, he is a neutered male cat, but he's a beauty. He's such a pretty boy. Such a pretty boy. Uh-oh. There comes Pops home in the rain. <laughs> Everybody's getting wet today. I saw that. Were the east? Yeah, I figured they must be used to a side by side, but they were they were following those cows. Sean and Tressa had four cows got out, and they come up here in the driveway. Wait, their cows came up. Yeah, their cows were up here in the driveway, and we called them. So I'm thinking that Lily and Rose saw them, saw the maybe the side by side if they were used to that, and they jumped that fence and. They were flying they after them. The I'm not sure how they got out. We saw underneath one part where it looked like there was a trail going down the hill, and we put some poles there. Yeah. Okay. Well, they were they found their way out, huh? Aw. Well, it was it was funny and terrifying because they followed those cattle at a full gallop. Really? Oh yeah, yeah. So there was something. Either the cows, they wanted to be with the cows, or they were following that side by side, one one thing or another. Yeah. 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 And here comes the wet everybody. And Pops is wet. <laughs> well, the cows have pushed the wire gate, the wire gap. Oh, had they, they go put their head through to see the goat? Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Listen to him, you guys. Do you hear that? <laughs> How pitiful. They are so pitiful. I know all of our neighbors think that we have little children here because that's exactly what they sound like. It's just little baby children. Aw. All right, y'all. I'm going to go in and get my seed starting stuff and come out here and get started. Hey, kitty, kitty. Everybody's wanting to see more pictures of the kitty kitties. You can see I haven't cleaned the porch off since we got the, the goats and the chickens contained over in their enclosure. And I had it cleaned off once about two months ago, but that didn't last. But now, now that the chickens are, and the goats can't come over here, listen to those babies. Oh my goodness. Now that they can't come over here any longer, I'm hoping to scrub this porch and paint it. And we're actually going to be rebuilding the, the railings. You can see the railings are, I mean this porch is pretty old since it was done last. And there's a section of the railing kicking out. And so it needs to be redone. And I'm going to take these steps out and I'm going to pour Actual, I'm going to form up and pour concrete steps so there won't be three steps going down. It's actually not three, it's just a continuation of the porch, but there'll be two steps and they'll be kind of half moons so that um, it'll be easier to actually go straight off this direction to our canning area. So it's all a big work and project and, and, pro and process. <laughs> oh well. All right, y'all. This is going to be a little short video. I just thought I'd show y'all what was going on in the garden while I was standing over there working in the rain. But I love you. I hope you're having a beautiful day. Those of you that need rain, especially up in Canada where we have those wildfires fires going, I hope you're getting rain. And those of you who are dry, I hope you're getting rain. And those of you who have suffered from flooding and too much rain this summer already or spring, I hope that you have a dry day. But love y'all, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Where'd you go, kitty kitty? Where'd you go, kitty kitty? Say bye-bye. And he says, I'm around the corner over here. There he is. <laughs>